Hey guys, I'm Fat Buddy Cat, and this is a Trail Master MB223. Today, we're going to be modifying the front suspension. The first thing we're going to do is get the mini bike up on a jack and get the front wheel off. It doesn't have to be jacked up super high, just enough to get the tire off the ground. 17 and a 19, we're off of there. These shock tubes are going to be the main event. We don't have to remove anything on the triple tree, just the tubes themselves. We're going to do that by removing this bolt on the top and loosening the ones on the side. That should allow us to slide these right out. A short 14 gets me right up in there. These bolts are torqued. Once they're popped, they should twist right out. That same 14 is going to work on these bolts as well. I'm just going to loosen them up. And I should be able to pull these tubes out. Just like that. I get the other one. I get them up on the workbench. When we get to reinstalling these shock tubes, it's not going to matter which side they go on. They're both the same unit. What does matter is this cylindrical portion right here. That goes towards the inside. So I just drew a little diagram to remind me later. Now, we have to remove the cap nuts from the top of the tubes. Don't worry about anything on the bottom. Just leave that alone. I wrapped a rag around the tube using a portion that isn't going to be sliding back into the cylinder. That way, if we ming anything up, you know, we can just sand it down, clean it up, get it where it needs to be. It's not going to affect anything if this is a little scratched up. The towel wrapped all the way around. You get it snug in the vise. I only went as tight as I needed it to be. I don't have a wrench to remove this nut, so I just used a bolt that has the head that fits inside, a pair of vice grips, and with two hands, one on the tube, one on the grips, I was able to start turning this loose. I'm going to get it off there and we're going to have to see what's inside. Alright, I held on with my right hand and I kind of did a palm twist thing with the left. Good thing because this is under tension from the spring that's inside. Remove it for the first time. You can see that we have some nice fine threads on there. We'll be careful when we're putting it back on. 
that way we don't mess that up it's like a spacer and oh yeah there's a spring in there but there's also some sort of a fork oil yep that checks out we're gonna have to get a container to pour that into the idea here is to get the fluid that's inside the shock tube into the cup I'm gonna have to tip it upside down and see what comes out that spring is probably gonna fall out so I'll grab that, I'll set it to the side, I'll be on a towel or something, and then I'll be compressing the lower portion so that any excess fluid that's down there presses out as well. Let's see if I can't not make a mess. I have both of these tubes emptied out, the springs set to the side. I'm going to use a syringe to draw up the contents of one of those tubes. That way you can get a more exact measurement for what was inside. We're pretty close to the bottom of the cup. We're at 100 milliliters. So, it's safe to say that each tube has just over 100. There's barely anything in there. That small amount wasn't having an easy time making its way up into the syringe, so I just removed this upper portion and I dumped it in. We had another 5 milliliters. So, I'm going with 105 for the stock oil. These are just 5.8 sockets. We're going to be using them to extend these spacers. What that's going to do is add more preload to our springs. Remember when we pulled this cap off and there was a little bit of tension there? Well, there'll be a little bit more when we add those. This is just 15 weight fork oil. It's been rumored that the stock oil runs about a five or a seven. Our reassembly is gonna start with a shock tube snug inside the vise. I'm not crushing it, just making sure it stays where I need it to be. The springs are of a progressive design. The coils are wider apart at one end than they are at the other. The smaller end is going to go down the tube first. Just like that. It looks like this shock oil is opaque, almost clear. Anyways, I'm starting with 100 milliliters. I have my finger over the tip so that it can't leak out. I'll put this into the tube and then I'll grab the other end and I'll ramrod it right down in. 
Oh yeah, get you some. After this, I'm going to put just a little bit more. For round two, I'm going with 10 milliliters. So we're going up a total of five. Not a huge deal. It might make a difference, but we might as well try while we're here. The 5.8 sockets are just over an inch. About an inch and an eighth actually. I'm going to be dropping these in on top of the spring and put them just like this. Next, we're going to drop in the factory spacer. Uh oh. There's that preload I was telling you about. It's going to be a little bit harder to push down. I already did one though. I'm going to clean this off real good. Lower it down on. And I'm going to use my palm to hold steady pressure. And I'm going to twist. Keep that pressure. Twist. You know what I'm saying? Get a few threads in there. Do not cross thread this. Don't strip it out. Using my makeshift cap wrench, I just put these on as tight as I could, holding the tube in one hand and using the wrench in the other. At this point, the tubes can go back in the triple tree. I'm just feeding them through and then putting the top bolt on just finger tight to hold it in place. With both tubes in place and everything still free to move around, we're going to install the wheel and the axle. I just torqued both of these bolts to 35 foot pounds. The front axle is set at 40 foot pounds and for the last two bolts we're back at 35 foot pounds put the kickstand down and I'll lower the bike ta-da Right off the bat, I notice that when I press down on the handlebars, the fork comes all the way back up. It's not settling anymore like it was before. I sit back, everything pretty much feels the same. That shouldn't change. But when we put some weight on it, we can definitely tell there's some more there. I can't wait to ride this thing. Just as a recap, today. We changed the fork oil from a 7 to a 15 weight. We added 5 milliliters for a total of 110. We also added an inch and an eighth to the factory spacers. Let's hash it up in the comment section and discuss what effects you think these things will have on our fork. I'm going to leave a list of links in the description for all the people that helped with today's modification. Be sure to check them out because as always, it's a work in progress. Have a good night guys.
Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.